Hello everyone, this is Next Dawn and welcome to episode 2 of Direwolf 20's 1.12 pack. Where every 20 episodes I've done a little bit. We got us a farm going right here. We just got some wheat and some uh, hemp going. Make some string, make some wool out of that. But now that I got sheep over here, I got a little sheep farm, a little cow farm. What I've been doing is just taking the wheat. Going through. See, we still got some little sheepies. Oh, we got one lover, huh? There's two. Got some cows. Nope, no cows yet. Alright. Throw that back in there. You see, I added another room right over here, which, uh, let's go in here and look. I added another room back there, too. This is going to be where our, uh, manual uh, machines are going to sit. And I added two storage drawers right here just to put, uh, cobblestone and dirty. And you can see that cobblestone already full. I want to get to a dank null pretty soon, too. But first, let's go ahead and get into uh, Tinker's Construct. I went ahead and made all the things I would need to make a smeltery. But I definitely want to get some better tools. I've been using, uh, as you can see, like right here, uh, an iron hammer to do my mining downstairs because it's so much faster than a pick. And I just use the picks for like redstone and stuff like that when I just want to get all of it one time. And this, whatever, other things that uh, like silk, not silver, iron, iron and stuff like that. So I can get it all at one time. And I can repair this. I upgraded them to flint. All my tools and everything to flint. Uh, it gives them a little bit more durability and a little bit more speed. What we're going to be doing here is getting this a smeltery. Ooh, put it on the ground. In the back. Smeltery up and going. So if we can go ahead and get ore doubling up and going. We won't be doing much ore doubling this way, uh, but we will do it to get started out. Uh, we're also going to uh, make a tank, a uh, portable tank, and so we can go downstairs and get lava for this, uh, which means we're going to have to have copper and something else. Portable tank. Portable tank. Tank. See portable tank? Nope, right there. Portable tank. Uh, need copper and a piece of iron and some redstone. So we got that. And what I'm gonna do is eventually I'll knock the top out of here. Let's go sleep real quick. What we got cooking in there? Ah, the rest of my seared bricks. Yeah. Cool. Cause we're gonna need them when we go to make our uh, tool forge. Let's sleep real quick. Yes. All right. One, two. I need a drain here and a drain over here. And two. We're going to put our your tank there. Our shoulder there. And another. Boom. There we go. As you can see, I got. I'm short still. But we may have enough here. Seven. I think I'm still going to be short a few. But eventually we're going to make that go. Oh, nope. We got it. Good. Boop. Yay. Perfect. Look at that. Alright. Uh, put that there. We're going to put that there. And that there. I know a lot of people, uh, for whatever reason, raise this up and see the bottom. I don't, I don't know why. I think it looks better like this. It's more aesthetically pleasing to me to look like this. Let's see. We don't have anything there yet. I got the... There they are. So we're going to need uh, one piece of co copper. Uh, one piece of iron. 
Then two pieces of redstone. Doop doop. And then how much uh, glass was it? Three? Yes, three glass. Okay. And I got glass over here somewhere. And glass. There it is. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a portable tank real quick. So we'll have that. And we'll go downstairs and. Oh, yeah, I gotta cook it up first. Those. Throw that in there. That in there. I got the stuff to make that quartz grindstone like I usually do it. But you know what? We're so close to getting a pulverizer and a, a redstone furnace that I'm not even worried about it. Because that's what we're gonna be doing today, too. Is, uh. Making a, a steam dynamo, an energy cell, a redstone furnace, and a pulverizer. Get some leadstone energy conduct going between them. Get some first power going. Uh, let's see, I also need to make a crescent wrench. And if I remember, that's three iron and one uh, lapis. Yep, no, it's one ten. Okay, I need three. You here. One, two, three. And a piece of tin. Tin, there we go. Go ahead and get that going while we're waiting. Alright, over here. Back to tank. There we go. Boom. Boom. One, two, three. Nope. Too many. There we go. Portable tank. This thing holds 20 buckets. That's 20 buckets. And if we take the one piece of tin and the three iron. That way when we go in here in a minute to fill it up with lava. Uh, we can pick it up. I got two buckets. We only need one. Go with us. Alright. Let me show you what I've got dug out down here so far. Support of my mind. Yeah, I've, I've done a little bit. And I still haven't found diamond yet, though. But. We've been pretty good. Found a lot of caves and stuff. And I started doing it this way. You can see, like, right there. But. Oh, I went the wrong way. Back this way, down to the lava. Eee. Down here. Yep, there it is. Made an iron pick so that this is what I was talking about earlier, so I could get the redstone and stuff. Uh, I was just going to go ahead and make some better tinker tools, but I figured I'd wait and just make the iron pick and the uh, iron hammer. But uh, let me get 20 buckets up here, and then we'll go back upstairs and we'll get the smeltery going. We got some better tools. I like to have some iron tools, and I found enough gold. To make the pat well I'm gonna have this done for while I'm talking but I got enough gold I think to make all the patterns I need because all I need is to make the pickaxe and the uh, make a sword I'll keep the uh, shovel and axe as flint there's no reason to upgrade them because a Iron pickaxe, I mean iron axe, but it's just the same as a stone axe, so I mean, as far as tinkers go, there's no reason to uh, upgrade them. Let's go back upstairs. Boop. Alright. And we'll slam this uh, right here, be good. And it takes four buckets to fill this tank up. 
All right, then we come back over here. Now, let's see. I do want a pickaxe. Let me get that out of there. We want to use stone. I do want a better pickaxe. I do want better binding. Cause we'll put copper for bindings. That way we get experience when we're making things. And I do want to get soon up to the hammer so I can stop using these hammers so I can actually get experience using the uh, Tinker's hammer. Okay. Uh, this right here. And that should be it. We'll do the other stuff later. Uh, I am going to do obsidian uh, sharpening kit. So, do that right there. So, we need eight gold. So, it'll be four gold ore. And eventually, I'll find what I'm looking at. Gold, there it is. Four gold. Well, I'll just do those four. That'll be good. And then we'll throw those in there. We'll go here, do that, 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 and that. First, we're going to do you and you. They go open up. You can also do uh, an alloy. Let's see. I forget what it is. It's a uh, bronze. Bronze, I think it is. Okay, let's see. The plates. Uh, it's called something. <laughs> Molten brass. Uh, aluminum brass. That's it. That's what you make it out of. But we're just going to make these right here. You see, we had eight. Now we got. Four because it takes two per you and you. That should take everything. There we go. Now, for we'll take that one out. This we want uh, one, two, and three. So we're going to do two copper. Oops, going wrong place. So we need two copper, which will make four ingots worth. And then we're going to do iron, and let's see, I'm going to do bronze for the pickaxe head. So I want to do molten bronze, which is 110 to three copper. So which makes four millibuckets. That will make enough to do one. And I want to do uh, both my sword and my uh, pickaxe out of that. So we're going to need 210 and 6 copper. So that's 110 because that makes 2. And 3 copper. 1, 2, 3. There we go. Over here. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Throw all the my copper in there. And that one piece of tin. Tin melts super fast. Doo -doo -doo. What we do is we get some lava out of the tank and throw it in there. So you have to go ahead and alloy it real quick. There you go. We got eight bronze. My phone went off somewhere reason. Alright, the copper. Got one. Two. And three. Alright. Now we throw that right down. We'll bring the bronze down. And that takes three. Nice. Oh, it could have been more than that. I should leave. Oh, the four. All right. Now what we're gonna do is get us one more piece of gold. There you go. 
and we're going to take and melt the gold in here and while that's melting we're going to come right over here to the tool forge we'll throw our pickaxe in there and as you can see right now durability is 190 mining level mining speed 5 mining of iron we throw that in there it also becomes diamond level 470 and mining speed of 6.8 so yeah it's a big difference so we don't need that anymore uh, if we take our sword 209 attack 4.9 see 517 5.5 so yeah nice and then we take that back there put that in there see it went from 470 to 555 well established which means we get experience now whenever we use it see and right now it's 190 that's 275 and we get experience when we use it same with that that was 190 now it's 275 and we get experience okay back over here Get our gold done Get gold oops click the gold no, I really want the gold. Gold. Thank you. Or is it two for... Uh... Uh... Let's see. It is two, isn't it? I'm going to get the other one, too. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it melts fast, so... Alright, that's all those... And that is everything we need right now. So we got one copper ingot and four bronze ingots. But we're facing to have a ingot cast. There it is. Oops. Gold. There we go. Finish pouring that out. There we go. And then if we want to cast them out like get that one copper out just cast it out that's all there is to it put these in there put our food here take that with us everything else can go in that'll work for now Okay. I also want to make. Uh, let me grab those back out. That can go there. Put that back out too. I can go in there, and this goes over here. There we go. Uh, build that in there too. I think I have enough stuff to make the uh, mining. Oops. Goodness gracious. Back. Dinner. Okay. The uh, mining backpack, which is that, and the digging backpack. So, if you look at them, it takes four string, two stone, two wool. We've got ten wool right now. Uh, I don't know if stone bricks work or not, but I thought we had some regular stone. Maybe not. Okay, we need two iron. So we need eight string. All the other got plenty of string, plenty of uh, wool. Just need two stone and two iron. So we'll come over here, grab us an iron. Boop. There you go. Throw it in here. Cause that'll make us two. And we'll go back up here. Make the other one. There's, there's my two stone. Okay. I need, oh, I forgot the chest. Excuse me. I need two chests, so. One, two, three, four. There we go. Wow, ah, there we go. And we'll come back over here. And we'll put that in there. Now, how these work are certain items go into these bags first. Like dirt, stone, andesite, stuff like that. Automatically go in the digging backpack first. The mining backpack, 
uh, things, all ores and like diamonds and stuff like that go in them first. Alright, two ingots. I'm gonna make another one of these ink casts soon. Doop, doop. Nothing to it. There we go. Let me go here. And bam. Nice. Okay. Uh, there's also these backpacks right here, which the only thing I need to do is make another chest. Oops, that's two. Make another chest. Right there. And what did I do with my leather? There it is. And this is just for extra storage. Boom. And what I'll do is I'll put my stuff like my, uh, this stuff, yeah. Stuff I'm going to need that I don't necessarily have to have out, though. Yeah. That right there, that right there, and there. Alright. Right, let's go sleep again. Whee! Go ahead and lay out the other stuff I'm going to need. Get rid of this and this. I'm going to need a steam dynamo. Enter A. I'm going to make an energy cell. Enter A. Uh, let's see, then I need a red stone. Harness. There it is. Enter a pulverizer. If you haven't uh, figured it out yet, we're going to go uh, thermal expansion to start our uh, machines and energy production. Production and leadstone energy cell. There it is. There we go. Alright. We need four. Oops. Six. We need six copper. So that's three copper. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Then we're going to need one silver. One silver. Then we're going to need uh, two iron. So that's one more iron. That's that. For this, we're going to need one piece of lead. Then we're going to need four more lead, which is two more lead. One, two. And let's see, another was that electrum or gold? Oh, I forget. Electrum, huh? Yeah, electrum. Which is electrum blend, which is one silver, one gold. So we'll need one silver and one gold. One silver. We're gonna have an extra silver on that one. So we're gonna need one piece of gold. And we have to do them in order, uh, so the things won't combine until we get our actual machines here. Because if you put them in the smelter together, of course they're going to combine together. So let me go ahead and get this going right here. So we'll have this before uh, doing four ingots of bronze. There we go. If you see me do this before, and as soon as I get these melted up and the ingots for them. We'll be right back. Welcome back everybody. I'm working on the brick right now. Let's go ahead and get started with the other stuff first. There's our steam dynamo. We make our energy cell. Did I not make enough iron? I guess I did not make enough iron. Well, we'll throw 
One, two. I just need one more, so. And throw that in there. Let that be. Where, uh, did I throw all of it in there? No, oh, it's okay. Let's see. It's close. We need to make bricks out of these. Oh, that's there. Two more. I need a uh, cobblestone. Ooh. I think I'm gonna be low on iron again. <laughs> oh goodness! She's just throwing a stack in there and bringing it up by the. Anyway, all right. We got the dino. Let's get rid of the dino. There's that. There's that. Okay. And that's going. That's going. I need restore reception coil. There we go. And I need to make. I'm going to have. Yep, I'm sure. <laughs> I am short a piece of iron again. And another reception cool. Missing gold ingot. Okay. Yeah, gold ingot. Gold ingot and an iron ingot. Okay. And there's that and that. But for now, while those are cooking, we can go ahead and get those most up here. Put that down that down. We need to place this down right here. When you look at this, uh, of course the blue means power in, orange means power out, and the yellow means blocked. See the configuration right here? So we want to take power in from the top, or we should have been blue, and we want to take it out the side. So there we Nope. Oh, okay. Crescent wrench. Is it my back? No. Oops. <laughs> there we go. And we want to get some water. Uh, I might actually want to get a we'll pretty this up in a little bit but let me get uh there's one bucket a bucket of the bucket in here yes it is okay I need uh one of those might as well pour them both right Side real quick. I don't have a sword in my hand. I need to have to wait. I know you're up there. <laughs> Take that. Anyway, <laughs> let's uh, that's there. All right, me too. That should be enough. There we go. All right, I go here. 
back to making this. Piston. Reception uh, hole. That should be everything. Make a pull Oh, I gotta have the two flint. Uh, one, two. There we go. And boom. Pull riser. Okay, we'll figure that out. Configure that here in a little bit. Go here. Infinite water stream. I uh, think. Let's put that on our list right here. And I'm going to make a sink to feed into this. Uh, but first, we'll hand feed it some water. Oh gosh. <laughs> Something that doesn't interact with it. There we go. We need one more bucket. I couldn't remember if it was three or four. Alright. And then we give it coal and it starts making energy. Uh, you can give it tiny coal or you can give it regular coal. Uh, oh, it's over here. Uh, it's like I don't remember where it is. There they are. Okay, let me go here. And give it pow. And as we can see right here. We're getting energy. Now what we're going to do is take our leadstone energy cell right here. You, you, and you. And then we're going to put our redstone furnace here. We'll put our pulverizer here. They're getting energy. Uh, we'll configure this. Boop. Blue means it comes in. We're going to come in from the top and go out the side. Both of them. Alright. And this, boop, is going to set from both the top there and it's going to go out the side. I'm going to put a chest for now. One, two. There we go. And we'll put a chest right here. Now, anything that comes in here, we'll get pulverized. Let's grab a, uh, uh, some iron work. See, throw it in there. Now it works. Of course, we've got upgrades and stuff we can have for this, but we got to upgrade this machine itself first. But as you can see, it comes in here, went in there, dust went in here, and there's our iron. And there's our first automation. Episode 2, we already got power and pull, uh, pulverizer and furnace automation. And what we'll do is, uh, or what I should say, what I should do in between episodes is I'm going to put a, uh, yeah, hopper. I drew a blank there for a second. <laughs> I'm going to put a hopper up there and a chest right there. Right there, and I'll pretty that up right there. But we'll put a chest right there. Well, what I should do is actually what I'll probably do. I'll probably knock this out right here and lower this all down one. Uh, that way the chest doesn't have to be up in there. It can be down here, and all this will be down here. And we'll move it down one. And that's how I'll do my uh, first bits of automation. Then we'll go down and go mining and just click up there oh that reminds me uh you can see i got the iron for it right here and copper for it i probably use copper copper cheaper i need iron more than do copper so in between episodes what i'm gonna do is actually let me do it right now how much iron do we got actually eight 19 20. uh we're going to take and that. Hmm. I thought I made enough seared bricks to make some iron that was in there. Oh, yeah, I don't see it, but what I'm going to do is make a tool forge. Tool forge. Uh, 
I don't see a two forge. Yes, forge. There it is. Two forge. Takes four blocks and sear stone. Uh, all you have to do to make sear stone is this right here. Come in here. Uh, throw cobblestone in there. When it melts down, you put it over here in the uh, casting basin, and it makes sear bricks, sear blocks that are bricks. So that's the way I'll do that. I make it, and that way I'm gonna get a hammer. Uh, so I stop using that hammer. And the hammers are Tinker's construct hammers. I am going to make a uh, iron one. I mean, they all look the same. That's the recipe for it anyway. Iron hammer. Uh, it takes a... Uh, here, I'll show you in here. I'll have to have it anyway. I'm going to make two forge. But it takes the hammer head right here. Takes plates. Tough tool rod. And I don't think it takes tough binding powder. No. Pretty sure it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it just takes the head, uh, two plates, and the rod. And I'll make the head out of iron, one of the plates out of uh, copper, and the rest of it out of iron. That way I can start using it downstairs. Okay. I need uh, four blocks of iron. One, two, three, four. Okay. Over here. Pour me out. Pour me out. Let's see. Sear stone. That's all it takes. There's one. Two. Takes three. Come on. There you go. Another thing is, too, if you put them in here, you can churn, tain them change them into pavers. That's usually what I use for my roads and stuff. Let's see. Just tool station right here. Give me a name. Well, maybe difference. Alright. Then we use one, two, one, two, three, and this right here, tool station, tool forge, boom. The tool forge, slap it back down. There you go. And like I said, the hammer, yes, it is hammerhead, two plates, and two forge. Tough tool rod to me. <laughs> Tough tool rod. And that's it. So, but you can see we're on a roll right now. I'll come over here and cast these out of stone. Put these in here. Part builder. And one plate. On two rod and the hammer. And I'll cast some gold in there, make the plates, and cast them out. I'll do that in between episodes, and then I'll go down there and do some more farming. Those. We're, we're taking out the same amount we're putting in, so we're going to need some more power. Uh, I don't have soon. I'll be able to go to the nether. Uh, if it's not the next episode, it'll be the one after that. We'll go ahead and go to the nether and see about getting the stuff we need from there to make need three more blocks to make uh, uh, magmatic dominoes. And magmatic domino dynamos take lava and make energy from them. And it's really easy if we get to killing some Endermen at night to uh, get a few Ender Pearls up so we can make some Ender Tanks. Ender Tanks. Mm, let me see, Pout. There it is. Yeah, so you just need two Ender Pearls and Blaze Rods and some Obsidian. But we'll get to the next episode or the one after that. Uh, four ingots, one block, three ingots. Okay. Out that, and I'll get another one of these made 
for doing the ingots. But yeah, with this right here, what I usually do is uh, go through and the whole everything, like these paths, I make them out of that pavers because I really like the way they look. That's what it appears looks like so far. Nothing special. But I love them cherry trees. And they're also a pretty good source of food to begin with. And we'll, I don't know how, but cows just keep randomly spawning in here. I don't know how they do it. They just keep coming. But anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up and hit that bell for notifications. So when I post new videos, you'll be notified. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps my channel out and helps with the algorithms of YouTube. And have a great day. And as always, thanks for watching.